Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and I'm happy to guest design for Hero Arts today. Today I'll be making a Christmas gift tag using uh, supplies from uh, the latest release. So this uh, stamp set is actually the Peace Poinsetta stamp set by the latest release of uh, Hero Arts. So first of all I'll go ahead and cut out my tag. I'm using this uh, die which is also by Hero Arts. It's uh, called Large Tag. So I've cut out uh, once. You can see Ginger, that's my little kitty there. I've cut out this uh, tag once out of uh, craft cardstock and now I'm using this pattern paper which is actually from a pattern paper collection from last year's Christmas. You can always use whatever you have in your stash. And now I have uh, these two tags, which uh, one is out of paper and the other is out of cardstock. Now I want this uh, pattern paper to nest inside the cardstock. So I'll uh, go ahead and trim uh, the edges just uh, a bit. That's uh, about uh, um, one sixteenth of an inch, let's say. And uh, this will help me uh, create a frame out of uh, my background tag, which is going to be the craft cardstock. You'll see what I mean in a bit. So uh, just to make sure that my background is nice and dark, I'm using um, a dark distress ink and ink up all the edges of uh, my craft cardstock. And actually I'm using uh, colored twigs. And uh, you can see how that uh, nests inside and creates a frame. So I'll uh, go ahead and uh, ink up my uh, paper tag as well. I'm uh, using two shades of uh, distressing here. So that's a uh, vintage photo as well as uh, I believe uh, peeled paint. I'm going over the tag uh, many times until I'm happy with the outcome, uh, blending the two colors together. And uh, my tags are basically ready. Now all I want to do is to create some dimension and I'll do that by distressing the edges. So I'm using my handy little tool there and I'll go all over the edges to create a rough edge and uh, I'll uh, then use my applicator and uh, make sure that I ink up all the edges to get rid of that um, white uh, color. Now, instead of uh, creating a tag, you can always follow the instructions and create a Christmas card. And uh, that tag is actually a bit complicated and so it's not easy to mass produce. But I guess it's a tag for that uh, present you are going to give to that special uh, person in your life. So now I'll go ahead and create my focal point. The focal point is going to be this uh, beautiful poinsettia from the poinsettia stamp set. And I've chosen uh, two pattern papers which are red. These are solid red papers. But uh, notice that uh, one is uh, dark and the other is uh, light. I'll uh, do that because I want to create the effect of uh, shadow. So I'm stamping uh, twice the flower and I'll go ahead and hit set it. I've used VESA marking for my flowers. So now I apply white embossing powder. And once uh, the embossing powder is there, I'll go ahead and use my heat gun to set um, the powder there. One of my favorite techniques when it comes to card making is paper piecing. I love cutting out uh, the same piece more than once and stick uh, one on top of the other to, cre to create dimension. And that's what uh, I'm going to do for that flower. So I'll uh, go ahead and uh, cut out uh, the flower, which is uh, darker, with this dye. This is a matching dye and I'm actually going to use the leaf as well. And um, I'll use my scissors to cut out uh, the, the other flower. Notice how I use my scissors to cut out only the center of uh, the flower. I'm following the lines and uh, separating the small uh, little petals that are on the inside, on the center of the flower, from the outside petals that uh, are at the back and are bigger ones. So you see I have uh, two little pieces there and I'll uh, go ahead and add some shading. I'm using my figure dabber and apply some uh, uh, distressing at uh, the center of uh, my darker colored uh, poinsettia and uh, actually that's a uh, fired brick and now for the center of uh, my flower I'll switch uh, colors and using my finger tabber I'll just add uh, a bit of uh, festive berries just on the center of the flower. Notice how I'm not coloring the whole of the petals I'm just uh, flicking my dabber from the center to the outside leaving the outside of uh, the petal as it was. 
that's the easiest way to add the dimension and uh, shading on uh, your flowers. So now I'm using foam squares at the back and uh, that will add dimension on my flower. And then uh, once uh, everything is there, I'll stick it uh, on top of uh, my flower base. So I'm matching the shapes there and uh, my focal point is ready. And uh, now it's uh, time to go ahead and assemble my tag. So first of all, I'm going to stick the pattern paper on top of my cardstock. Notice how I don't uh, add uh, adhesive at the back uh, where the edges are. I'm just sticking at the center. I'm doing that because I want to keep the dimension that I have on the, on the edges. And now I'll try to place a poinsettia and uh, decide where this is going to go. And uh, it's time to stick it down. And then I'll uh, go ahead and use my scissors to cut out whatever sticks out. And uh, now it's time to uh, stick the leaves. I actually uh, prepared the leaves already, followed the exact same process as I did with uh, the flower. So I've used the stamp that was included in the kit and white emboss it. I then uh, cut it out using the matching tie. And now I'm using uh, forest moss with my finger dabber to add some shading uh, only at the top of uh, the leaves. So now it's time to stick them down. I finally decided that I'll uh, use only two of them and not all three of them that I have already prepared. So I'm sticking them down with uh, tape adhesive at the back and uh, my tag is uh, pretty much done. I now need to add the hole so I'm using my crop dial there and uh, just uh, because I always need um, to add a sentiment there, I'll uh, white emboss the word piece that was also included in the kit and I think it fits perfectly there. I've used a generous amount of uh, my embossing tool just to make sure that uh, my embossing powder doesn't stick uh, uh, everywhere. Remember that the stressing um, takes some time to dry, so you need to make sure that it's uh, totally dry before you go ahead and apply embossing powder. And uh, my tag is almost ready. Now for the finishing touches, I'm adding uh, small little white pearls at the center of my poinsettia. I'll also thread some uh, string through that hole there for my tag. And finally, I'll uh, use uh, some uh, Wink of Stella glitter pen on the petals just to add some shimmer. <laughs> What's a Christmas tag without shimmer, right? Remember that distress ink uh, uh, reactivates with water or anything wet. So since uh, that is uh, wet, you can see that it actually uh, colors my tip of uh, Wink of Stella red, but uh, no need to worry. I'll just go ahead and apply all the shimmer that I want there. And once I'm ready, I can just do some uh, brush strokes on a piece of paper and uh, the tip is clean. And I guess that was the gift tag for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. I want to say a big thank you to Hero Arts for having me as a guest on their blog today. And thank you all for watching.